Hello everyone, John Runner 88 here with another Star Wars figure review, and this time it is the Mandalorian Fleet Commander. Get the card back in here. You can see it's got the nice ring of death there for this card back. It seems to be very prevalent in this wave, but um, there he is sitting there, commanding uh, the fleet. He's a VC. 314. Here's a nice sideways shot of the uh, kind of lackluster image on the back. It's uh, not the best posing, but you know, what are you going to do? But here he is. F Mandalorian Fleet Commander. I guess we'll just never know his name. Um, such is the way of is uh, some newer characters, they just kind of go unnamed, and you get just like the uh, Mandalorian. Um, judge that we're going to be coming out with. Like, let's just give these people name, these people names, okay? But um, here he is. Um, I'd say my one critique with this guy is that I think his head is a little too like narrow. Um, the actor definitely has kind of like you know more of a round head, but this one is a little a little long, if you ask me. Just like it, in comparison to the actor, and I think it makes. His head looked like um, a little smaller in comparison to the armor, especially with these like bigger shoulder pads, which are like they are connected to the like neck overlay or like the shoulder overlay here. Yeah, paint apps look good on him. I only had one to choose from from the store. I guess his hairline's a little crooked, but you know, maybe that's just the style he's going for. But um, yeah. So overall, he's just got a, there's a lot of new pieces here, especially with the legs. I think the legs are like all new. They may have reused like the um, the top thigh piece, but seeing him in person, I the blue on his gauntlets and his like thigh guards here are like a really nice metallic blue. It looks really cool. But I think overall, he's just, he's a nice figure. He poses pretty good. See, one issue with his, like, knee is when he, when it's bent like this, you can't, like, move it really because these, like, side, like, little knee dart pieces kind of, like, restrict that. But, I mean, we got the thigh articulation and stiff. Got the fun stamp there. If you don't like those, as long as the plastic is, like, not painted, like, see, like, this part is painted blue, but this is, like, molded in that blue, you can take some, like, um... I use nail polish remover <clears throat> and just like a tiny little bit on like a q-tip and you can get that right off in like two seconds it's nice um, definitely helps with you know like the clones are like white and they've got like a black numbers printed on their thigh and little nail polish remover boop, boop, it's gone but one thing that they've been doing with some of these releases is it be giving them a weapon and no holster? I know he doesn't have one in the show, but just a little annoying when you get, especially like a little blaster pistol. Like it would have been cool if they gave him like a bigger weapon because they're, you know, makes more sense that he doesn't have a holster for that. <clears throat> but when you've got a little pistol, a little blaster, and nowhere to put it, it's a little annoying. But onto the main attraction here do the off screen pop so they have been doing the <clears throat> swappable heads and helmets which is awesome because we've got our brilliant example back there of axe woves with his massive helmet but this is a great oh great sized helmet looks awesome but I, they've been, they went an interesting route because some of the old ones, like um, Casca here, her peg comes out with the helmet, and I thought they're gonna do that with all of them. But with these recent ones, they've been keeping, probably because the peg is like so difficult to get out. It'll probably be on a case by case basis, but um, it looks like it's like a, a removable helmet, which is cool that they like kind of kept that aesthetic with these helmets so like when they're holding them it still looks like 
like you can be holding it like that it still looks like a deep like wearable helmet but we don't have the issue of rubbing off his, his look at those gorgeous eyebrows you don't want those getting rubbed off nice out of focus luscious eyebrows but yeah the paint apps are like great on these new figures and we don't want to okay you get the idea we don't want to lose his eyebrows but helmet on looks awesome i wish them i wish the blue up here on the helmet it's more of like a matte as a um when compared to like the gauntlets and the uh, neat uh, thigh pad thigh pads here um i wish the helmet matched that but i mean that could be how it is in the show i don't know we don't see this guy too much front and center with his helmet on at least but yeah he's got the little print on the forehead there pretty centered on mine which is nice and then, yeah, overall, looking awesome. Articulated rangefinder, love it. Um, so I lied, I got another gripe here. His jetpack does not have flame ports. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Every Mandalorian we've gotten so far, whether they have these pieces or not, they've been able to plug in and this one i i don't know why they didn't include it it's kind of weird and it's like circular where it's like i don't know it doesn't even look like they were planning on it but yeah it's just it's just a little weird i don't know if it's like the because i think a lot of the other ones are like no, I mean, pre, got pre Vizsla right here. His are kind of offset to the sides. I was going to say maybe it's because they're like kind of separated from like the main jetpack that they didn't want to like have people breaking them or whatever, but I don't care. I mean, it's a cool looking jetpack actually. I think it's the first time we've seen one like this on the Mandalorians. Like this design looks really cool and that pops off. Nice and easy. But yeah, overall, it's a fun figure. It's awesome getting just like another Mandalorian. And if you prefer his helmet being on, you can always put it, he can always be holding his head too, which is cool. That's a nice feature, right? <laughs> but yeah, they're showing up at Walmart's right now. And that's where I found this. Ran over after work, and they had them, and I picked them up. And they're only, like, 13 and change, which is, I don't know what Walmart's doing, but it's saving us money, so I guess that's all that really matters. But I think that's going to about do it for this guy. He's a fun little addition, just adding more variety to the Mandalorian battalions we have going, and more unique pieces for... Mandalorians moving forward. I think the judge uses the judge uses the um those legs and stuff. So we'll hopefully see that figure soon. It's one that's just kind of sitting in pipeline limbo right now. But I think that's gonna about do it. Thank you for watching everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Follow me over on Instagram as well. I do a lot of extra pictures, behind the scenes stuff. And uh, it's the same name over there, John Runner 88. But I think that's going to about do it for this one. Bye, guys.